bring anything to the party here. Fang Jinhuan from the USA in charge of this one. Oh, we've seen a few golden point rounds. So we could say it's three times two minutes. It could be an extra bonus round as well. But let's see how this one plays out. Haven't fought each other for before. Let's hope no one finishes with five seconds to go. I don't really know if you get away with that with Iran. Exactly <laughs> right, Sarah. And speaking of time, the referee just making sure the clock had started. It has indeed. Hadjipur, he's in blue. Artamanov, the Russian, in red. And he's trying to hold the centre of the mat. And that hop forward style. Always finishes it with a kick. Doesn't want to take a gam, John Hadjipur. And drags it down the way as well. Hadjipur just letting him know, I'm here, I want to control this match. Good start from him. No points yet, but it's good to see him trying to control the match. Yeah, as you know yourself, Sarah, in your World Championship victory and in your illustrious career, always dominating that space, making sure that your opponent earns any sort of millimetre of, of distance. Yeah, giving you the confidence and giving putting them on the back foot is the best place to be in. Being in the middle of the ring, controlling that, calms you down a lot, a lot more than the opposition. Yeah, the psychological battle, the fight within the fight, so far, ebbing and flowing, Atamanov trying his best to creep back in, but had a poor, true to form. And a change of stance this time. He's an incredibly flexible fighter, the Iranian, close with that. Yeah, excellent option there, back leg with the chop kick, just failing, falling a little bit short. But putting Atamanov under a lot of pressure here, but it doesn't look phased. It's a stern expression, still looking quite confident. Yep, decent start from both men here in this under 58 kilogram final. Yet to come to the boil, but simmering away nicely into the last 20 seconds or so. Again, we're seeing the excellent cover here from Artamanov. Trademark from the Russian athletes. Really, really difficult for Hadjipur to score, but still keeping that pressure on. Staying in, I suppose, his control, maybe not control on the match. But neither man grabbing control of the round. End of the first, nothing to report. Other than the fighters running through the database in their mind, they now, they've never fought before. So now they know a little bit more about each other. A nice round for me. I like to see a lot of movement, trying to create space, trying to create options. It's really, really good to see that while still exploring. And as you, as you said, collecting that, that information information they're now discussing in the Russian corner and of course it's a debate for coaches how much information do you give to the fighter I think for me you should work with that player figure out how they want that information how much information how little information if you want more tell your coach if you want less tell your coach or if you trust your coach enough It'll naturally just happen. But as you get older and more experienced, you should be able to tell them how you like it, how you want your information. For me, the little little as possible, please. <laughs> I can't do too much at once. Well, you did too much with your feet to need any coaching of note. But who can find a shot of note in this one? 0-0, zero, zero. Hadjipur tries with a little front leg, gets closer to the body protector this time. Atamanov. Just being dragged into this one, Hajipur, giving him a little look and saying, right, come on, let's get the fight going here. But the patience of Artamanov evident because he knows the flexibility is there from Hajipur. Hajipur has trying the second action now, flicking to the body. And I think, like you said, Artamanov knows he could take that second and third action high. So just steering clear a little bit. But he's, Artamanov's cover is just unbelievable. It's so hard for anyone to score on. And because of that style of covering there, Hadipur threw a back leg turning kick, very unusual for him to open up so quickly in this one. Of course, back leg takes longer, leaves a bigger space, and almost exploiting it there, Artomanov kicking himself, but not quite kicking Hadipur. And this one's yet to kick into gear. Last little push kick there from the Russian, trying to control a bit of real estate here. 
Artamanov really trying to get edge that little bit closer. He's not as wary of that distance now. Good cover. Both men giving a good look at each other as we have a little look at the score. The only thing that is changing is the clock. No Garmjohns, no points and no kicks of note here. This final yet to come to life, but both men, well, we called it on the way in that they would be patient. Well, that patience pay off. Change of stance on the back foot there. Got close with that one. Our Tillman off. But close doesn't get it done. As we run into it, there's the back leg turning kick again. No shortage of effort. The drag down shot from the Iranian as well. 0-0, zero, zero. it's as we were. I'm really impressed with Artomonov's patience, as you said, John, it's just, he's not phased by anything. He knows he's got good cover. He knows he's got good movement. He's good at avoiding the shots. He's just waiting and waiting and waiting for that right opportunity. Even if it's one point, a gam jump, he's patient and he's ready. And actually, we might look at kicks and think, oh, you know, that's tough, that's aggressive. It's actually quite aggressive to just stand there with the world watching and not do anything. Exactly, I think both athletes are really, really good at that. Being able to stand in that middle distance, knowing what they're good at, ready for anything, and very, very patient. That is an art, and these two have got that down to a tee. And even though nothing's happening, it's not a snooze fest, as you like to say. Nice one. Cause for alarm. Who's going to waken this one up here? Will it, will it be a festival of footwork and kicking instead? Hadapur. Well, it's not been a poor start from him. He's been good. Cover's been good, though, from Artominov. Cancelling each other out. But it only takes one to get it going here. It could be a gam, John, that sets this final alight here. Men's 58. Kilogram contest here. Hadapur in blue. Artominov, well, he's the Russian, and you can see for yourself what colour he is in as he steps back there, almost leaving a space to the body protector. But it's as we were. Some good, really good realistic fakes from Artomanov. Just subtle little movements, but realistic enough to get a reaction for Hadipo. Not quite not quite making anything happen, but enough to be threatening. Well, of course, we're watching it with the eyes of spectators, or in your case, commentating and analysing. But when you're in there as a fighter, looking at someone who's constantly moving, it gives you moments to, to pause and reflect. Yeah, you have to react. It's just those little subtle movements, but realistic. You can fake as if you're going to kick, but it not be realistic enough. And for me, um, Artamanov is, is doing that really, really good. He is indeed. He's holding the centre the best he can here. Well, we spoke at the start. Let's not talk about three times two-minute rounds because we could go to the golden score. It's moving that way at the moment. Rana Russia, who's going to grab the ascendancy here? Last 30 seconds approaching. I'm starting to think Artamanov likes sudden death, uh, golden point. And I didn't know anyone at, who, who did. <laughs> it looks like he's certainly trying to drag it into the deep waters and, and go for that golden score. Hadapur, he's trying to go and score a little shot of his own. We've seen everything in Taekwondo, the high scoring final of Jade Jones, where she was free and clear. Artamanov and Hadapur, well, they're happy to keep the distance between each other. Nice shot from Hadapur. Tries to go for it at the end. But we thought it might happen almost at the end there from Artomanov. But golden point it is. Well, of course, one kick or one punch will decide it. I think it's always quite baffling to how you can't score. Either athlete can score a point in three rounds. But then more often than not, with one minute of one extra round, someone scores a point or creates a gam jump. It's think, fascinating, really. Yeah, it's fascinating. You know, they do manage to do it. They find a way to win, even if it's one minute and golden point. Well, as you've talked about before in your analysis for 
the last set of the Grand Prix matches yesterday and today. Match management so important to control your opponent. But now, as you say, no risk, no reward. We've seen converse ways to win. Win by punch or win by kick and fall over. As Bradley Sindon found out, he came so close with the fighter from Doncaster with the silver. But Abagosh nailed it. Who's going to have the tactics and the timing in this one? And off timing, it's just one minute to decide who's going to be the Grand Prix champion for 2017. Russia or Iran, Hadapur or Artelmanov. The Iranian has been slightly more aggressive with the drag down shot, tries to go for it again. Both athletes very, very focused, keeping a high intensity without creating too much action. Unlucky there. Yep, ever so close with that front leg, had to put on the back foot. The referee going to give the gam joint for using the, the leg, holding it up without any intent to kick. Well, neither man has shown too much aggressive intent. Hadapur, to his credit, has tried. And if it goes to all tied up, it will be who has kicked the body protector most. Change of stance from both. Into the last 20 seconds. Headshot just sailing over the shoulder. They are so close for Hadapur. Atomanov on this hunt there. Tries with the back leg turning kick. Keeps the foot in. Last 10 seconds now. Atomanov looks at the score. Headshot of his own. And it scores. What a shot in the last seconds. He grabs the Grand Prix Golden Glory point there. And I think we're going to see some sort of protest. Well, it's just the protestations from Adapur. Because Artomanov, well, you called it, Sarah. In fact, I think we will see a video replay, perhaps. I no. Was, well, I was thinking, just get it up there, try something. Say he was holding, say he was grabbing, say he pushed. You know, you've got to do something to try. But what you can say... As he did try at the end, you said it all the way through. In the la literally the last seconds there, headshot from nowhere. Patience is a virtue. But it was actually a great match. I actually quite enjoyed that, considering there was not much action. Well, as you said, Sarah, that patience paying off in the end for Mikhail Artamanov. Armin Hajapur had tried, he'd been aggressive. But then the end is the Russian who was in no hurry at all. He found that shot and finds himself as the champion. And of course, it came down to the final second, Sarah, and what a way to get it done. It's a great way to win right at the end. Our time and I've waited for that, you know, for three and a half rounds, as we should as we say, just for that one moment, waited and waited. In the clinch, in that short distance, took it high. Three points. Grand Prix final champion here in London. Yeah, it lands with class. Incredulous look there from Hajipur. Absolutely gutted the man from Tehran. But it's Moscow's finest. Matches on here. And we've seen a little bit of everything, Sarah, of course, mm -hmm. in terms of high scoring, intensity. This one a real stalemate, but lots of quality because yeah. if you're a young fighter, Learning that patience, it takes a lot to be as calm as that. It does. I mean, it takes a lot of confidence. You know, to be able to do that is experience, confidence, and you.